Buddhism need to be about keeping these commandments. This is not what I expected out of them. The true Bible, the book of our fathers. Right. The Most High has given us guidance on what we need to do. Officer Eli. It's Officer Nashon. Officer Yikia. The book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 29. Bring not every man into thine house, for the deceitful man have many traits. When, when we read that, we often think of then in terms of like letting people, which is true. You don't just have people just coming into your house because they get to learn all about you. Mm -hmm. They get to see how you operate, how you live and all that. And, mm -hmm. and, if, they are, and if they have enemy uh, tendencies, they're looking for your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. right. They're looking for your weakness. So you got to be very careful to who you let inside your house. Mm -hmm. But I'm going a step further than they said. Read it again. Bring not every man into thine house. Bring not every man into your mind. Mm. Into your mind. Mm. What do we do the, when we get on social media? We post where we work, what we like, what we don't like, where we live, where we everything, been. who we've been. Put our children up there. Mm. You opening yourself for, for the, all the enemies to see exactly what you are about. And that's how they tailor ads to you and all that other stuff because you're giving, you basically giving your whole life, you're giving your whole information to everybody. Mm -hmm. That's the same equivalent of, to what we read here. Read it again. Bring not every man into thine house. Bring not every, every person into your brain, into finding all about you. No. You ain't interviewing me. Because mm -hmm. that's basically what it is. like an interview to find out what you're about. I'm not talking about it in life or a job. But I'm talking about when people are trying to get inside your head, they're trying to find out the inside of you so that they'll know if you are for them or not. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if they got criminal uh, activity in their mind, mm -hmm. they're trying to find out what your weaknesses is so that they, mm -hmm. can, so they can manipulate and mold you to their sick perversions. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time and keep rolling. Bring not every man into thine house. Bring not every man into your mind. For the deceitful man. For, hath for, the, for the enemy, the pervert. Okay? The deviant. Go ahead. Hath many trains. Have many thoughts because they got perversion in their mind and they're looking to take your sons. Mm -hmm. They're looking to take your daughters. While you're up there on social media clicking and weighing all mm -hmm. of that, they're looking inside the profile, your psyche, your, your psych, your psych profile and figuring out how to get to you. Watching your family, your family posting pictures about you and your babies and daughters and all that, where mm -hmm. you work at and all of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, you crazy as hell. Mm -hmm. What the hell is wrong with mm -hmm. our people? But we know what's wrong with them. We know what's wrong with yeah. them because they've been deprived of t attention so long and, mm -hmm. and, and felt like nobody cares about me and all of that. Mm -hmm. So the moment that somebody gives them a spotlight or a stage, they feel like it's time for me to just let the world see everything mm -hmm. and not, not remembering that there's perverts and demons and rapists and all types of people mm -hmm. out there. You know, those uh, a lot of people think those social media platforms been uh, pre uh, created for their pleasure. Uh-uh. You know, it, it, it was a thought behind that. Right, 100%. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, mm -hmm. it, it was a thought behind why they created these things, just mm -hmm. like Bishop just brought out, mm -hmm. to get inside, get in your mind. Mm -hmm. Like like they said, like he just, the, uh, the uh, police just said, mm -hmm. he said uh, he want they want to know what she's been thinking. Mm -hmm. By her phone, they know right. what she's thinking. Right, exactly. right. And obviously, yeah, yeah, you remember years ago, we, we see sisters, as well as men, mm -hmm. but we see sisters, Taking pictures and putting their daughter on there. There you go. Putting their daughter on there. I mean, mm -hmm. you talked about that mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be putting your daughter on there for mm -hmm. men to, to see your page. Now, yeah. even like a job, mm -hmm. if we go for a job interview, first thing they're going to do, oh, let me go to his Facebook. Mm -hmm. I learned that through my manager at one time. Right. He went to the Facebook page, went all through his pictures, seeing him out there on the boat, drinking, getting drunk, <laughs> right, right. falling out, <laughs> passing. Just stay. He said, man, this is a wild joke here, but he come up here in the suit and tie and prestige like he got it all together. Nice resume, but the other side of him. <laughs> there you go. A whole, a whole nother person. Yeah. Right. A whole right. nother person. A whole nother person, you know. And these cats out here that's scamming and looking for your daughters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your sons, hey. and you just literally throwing them out there to them. Go ahead, off hey, this show. Hey, Cap, uh, yeah, there, was ahead, a, there was a show called Swarm uh, about mm. this little serial killer black girl, right? Oh, Lord. And uh, the detective that was from a whole other state was able to find her through how? Wow. Through her social media. Mm -hmm. that's how was they able do. to, just like that. So you're putting all of this information up there. 
and you don't even realize that people can find you just by Who, that. Who's, who's snatching it? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Who's snatching all your information? <laughs> right. Off the internet. Mm-hmm. Or e- or even the uh, the Batman movie <laughs> where they go into the Batcave. Oh, they look. Yeah. You had all them screens, screens up and all of that of and the phone calls. Yeah. He was able to find who, who I can't remember who it was. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But it was able to find the assailant just by them phone calls. Right. Right. Yeah. His name was Holmes, wasn't it? <laughs> Holmes, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Holmes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That that dude with the orange hair, that dude yeah. crazy as hell. And bitch, you know, he's like you joker, say, shot everybody up. <laughs> and bitch, you know, Go like ahead. you say, you, you you putting your uh, uh, there's a little camera right here, right? And you looking in it and wanting the world to see you. You best believe everybody looking everybody right back looking, in. They looking right at you. They, <laughs> they see, looking they, right they, back they in see the it, They see on it. or seen or want to be seen. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know. Yep. Exactly. Go ahead, Bishop. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I put po- I posted a video up. Just jump down to the bottom. We're coming back up because we're talking about these families that these mothers be putting their daughters up there. Like mm-hmm. I said, you, you get on Facebook and you're showing all your information. Mm-hmm. You end up showing your your child and everything else. Mm-hmm. And this is the this is what happens as a result of that. Play this uh, video here. This this last one. Just get at the timestamps. Now I played this last week and I was looking for this video here and I was looking for the timestamps. But now we're gonna get it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can you right now? When police in Xenia, Ohio, receive a call about a strange man claiming to be the parent of a young girl at a kindergarten ice cream social, they can't possibly imagine the twisted depths of the man's motives or what links he will go to to conceal them and escape. The majority of the body camera footage in the following video has never been seen before and information included in the video was obtained through actual police reports. On August 22, 2022, St. Bridget Catholic School was holding their annual orientation and ice cream social. It was a time for their students, preschool through eighth grade, to come in with their parents, get to know their teachers, and enjoy ice cream in a safe, welcoming environment. On this day, however, the environment was anything but safe, all because of one man. He's the one they're after, but I'm the I'm <laughs> After receiving a call that there was an unknown man posing as a student's father, several police officers raced to the quaint school and split into groups, trying to get to the bottom mm. of the chaotic scene of frazzled teachers, furious parents, and terrified children. <laughs> of course, the questioning begins with the strange man at the scene. Why was he there? What's going on, man? Go ahead. I'm Officer Peters. What's your name, my man? What is it? Weed. Weed? Weed. Weed? As in like W-E-E-D? Is that what it is? Okay. So what what are you here for today? Uh, hey. People thought I was here to... Line is behind. Yes, uh, I'm some of child. I'm having a lot of psychological problems. Line again. You're having psychological problems. Yes. What kind of psychological problems are you having? Keep up with the timestamps now. Are you like diagnosed with anything like that you know of or anything like that? Uh, so possibly like kind of it's like a general diagnosis, but something that's gotten worse. So what what kind of psychological issue? Like what are what are you in more of a description way? Like what, what are you feeling? It's not like he's playing a victim. Right. He, right. Exactly. <laughs> he is exactly trying to trying to play the victim, but he's lying his behind on. Right, right. But I, but what I wanted y'all to notice notice that when it when it first started, it said that it was their orientation, mm-hmm. you know, and and where the kids come to meet yeah, their teachers, ice cream, all, social. ice cream, and all all, all of yeah. that. And it was at this evening time that this is happening. Right. Wow. So this is not easily known. This mm-hmm. would only be known to the families. This would only be known Somebody to, to know. You, you would have to be mm-hmm. you'd have to be affiliated with the school mm-hmm. to even know that this thing is happening. Mm-hmm. The question is, how did he, how did he get know? this? Nope. How did he get nope. this information? That's nope. what we're gonna find out now. And this goes again because I'm gonna just jump to the gun, but I'm gonna let it play. This goes again because when mo- when when mothers are so happy and exuberant, mm-hmm. got their pictures up there and got pictures of their daughters and up there, mm-hmm. you don't know what kind of perverts are watching, watching like this guy. Mm-hmm. Now go ahead, play on. Paranoid. Do you know anybody here? Yeah. You don't know anybody here. You don't know anybody's kids. Nothing like that. 
Okay, you from Xenia? Um, trying to think. Fairborn. Fairborn area. How'd you end up here today, then? Like, how'd you get to St. Bridget? And hold on, hold on. While they're doing it, and note, because I, I wanted to make sure I said <laughs> that, you know this man has no criminal record? Mm. Prior to this, he'd never been arrested. He has no record at all. That's how well they could disguise their stuff. Mm. He's going to have a record after this, mm -hmm. you know. But he, you're going to hear the history. Mm. This guy has been doing it. This is just the, one of the last schools where he got caught. He has been taking girls home at other schools. That's in here. Oh, my God. Damn. There's stuff in this damn thing that's so sickening. So he's been getting away he with it. He's been getting away with it and damn. never got caught. Clean record. So he would come up to your daughter. He would come up to your school right. clean, and you would think he's legit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, well. The suspect's hesitation and long breaks before answering questions is undeniably odd. But is it because of his self-proclaimed psychological issues, no. or is that just an excuse to give him time to come up with an innocent cover story that for being at an elementary school? Because he shouldn't have been there. Go ahead. As you will see, he has some trouble keeping his story consistent. Fairborn area, how'd you end up here today, then? Like, how'd you get to St. Bridget? Uh, to... So he's basically, because he's stumbling, he said he's going to the ER. So they said, well, how'd you end up here? Go ahead, play on. Don't stop it. Sure. <laughs> to GMA, like Green Memorial? Is that where you were trying to get to? Okay, how'd you end up here today? So, like, how did you walk from Fairborn, or, like, how'd you get here? Actually, I drove. Hmm? I drove. You drove here? Okay, is your car here? Yeah. The suspect is actually telling the truth here. His car is on school grounds. And what they will soon find in it is not only stomach churning, but brings to question what disturbing secrets could possibly lie in this man's past. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. He said he was going to the ER. To how the he, ER. How he end up turning into the, the school? Because he wasn't <laughs> going to the ER. He got he got brochures and pamphlets in the car to suggesting that he's a drug addict and all of that. And the cops questioned him on that, and he couldn't even name his drug a choice. But he used that as a cover just because some cops might not dig deep enough right, and to let him right, get off right. like he got off before. Mm -hmm. right. Like I said, they caught him on this one, but he's been using those excuses and they weren't. He got in the pamphlets and all of that in the mm. car. Damn. And this is just one. $150 billion, you got plenty of these guys Millions around. Of right. them. Millions of them. Yeah. No doubt. Go ahead. Play so, on. Uh, real, oh, go ahead. Bishop, yeah, yeah, are yeah. you saying that it's, possi I'm, yeah, it's a possibility ahead. that he might be part of that econ uh, economy? Oh, 100%. Mm. And his ain't no possibility. He is. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Oh, you didn't see this. You didn't know nothing no, no, about no, no, this. No, no, oh, no. you about to you about to get mad. <laughs> Play on. Okay. So walk me through when when you got here, what happened? Made a story that I had a child that was going to school here. Okay. Did did you give a name or anything for the child that was going to school or I said Okay, how how'd you get that name? I just came up with a name that had J in it. What That's a lot. why did it have to be J? Just the first name that popped, first letter that popped. Is that is that honestly the truth? Because I don't I think you saw that name or came up with that name some other way. So how how'd you come up with that name? Just using it coming up with a name that goes with Hey, bring the because I'm reading it here. I want the people to see the words. So interchangeably, let the you know let that disclaimer come so the people can see what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So why why Jay? What, what was specific about Jay? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I, I okay. guess I like so it. So what, what about the last name? Did you give a last name for the for who you were so here put with? Put the disclaimer in and out. You know what I'm saying? But just answer. Stop yeah. thinking about. It. Stop. Yeah, so stop trying to come up he, with a he, lie. He, he, he picking he's picking up on he's, it. He's picking yeah. up on it. Right, right. He's picking up on it. Go ahead. What was the last name you gave? Okay, so how did you come up with that name? I researched it. He said he researched mm -hmm. the people who were going here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So was it online? Yeah. Okay, so you knew that name before you got here. Sir. Both yes. police and the he family. Knew, I don't know if they saw it. Yes, he knew the name of the child before he got there. So the question mm -hmm. is, how did you get this information? Mm -hmm. Go on. He discovered the child's name from the desk. He lied However, and said, hold it. He lied and said he got it from the desk. 
but he just told the cop he had it before he got there. Right. Mm-hmm. So he was he had his lies ready. Right. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. About to learn the truth of how he discovered the kindergartner's name and posed as her father is much more horrific. There you go. He asked me if I would get here and I told him the name and then went to the classroom and that kid would be going to school. And then they said that she, she would be going, going to this class. And so I pretended that it was my kid. I pretended that okay. this was my kid. Huh. Junior arc with did you react? Uh, did, did, go ahead. I did not. I just kind of. Just behind her. You were behind her. Yeah, I just kind of being near her. Okay. Damn. Were you were you here for her or for anybody else or was it, it multiples? <laughs> here you go. It was. It was just her. It was just, just her. her. Pause it. Damn. It was just her. Damn. He didn't know mm. anybody else, and he only knew this girl's name because he's going to tell you how he found this out. Mm. Go ahead. Social media is, is, a, is a dangerous thing. Go ahead. Play on. All right. Look, look at me. All right. Well, well, how'd you pick her? Just by her looks. Damn. Okay. Wow. Was this prior to A kindergarten. Or? Yeah. A kindergartener. He picked her uh, out because looks. of her looks. What looks? What looks? Wow. The deviant mindset of these Pervert. damn people, of these perverts, that's on the other side of these phones. Like a, a baby, you a know. Ba- a baby. That's the only look she has is a, the look of a baby. Wow. Go ahead. Play on. Uh, yeah. Okay. You say you were attracted to children. <laughs> so you're you're a minor attracted adult. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Perhaps the officer uses the term minor attracted adult to make Reed feel as though his crimes aren't his fault or aren't as serious as they truly are. Mm. Using this phrase, as disturbing as it is, may put Reed at ease, allowing the detective to get more information out of him. So, what was your plan tonight? To get information out of And what? Sure. He said, okay. hold it, hold Touch it. Her. Touch her. Listen now. Right. A kindergarten. Here's her, here's, he researched. Let's, let's, let's line up the facts. Right, right. He researched her, found her out, mm-hmm. found out what, when, when she would be at the school, looked up when the school is having that orientation. He did all of this diligent work mm. just to get to this child. But Bishop. He took the paperwork off the child's desk because mm. the children were given paperwork for the parents to fill out. He came and took the paperwork, and he was going to fill it out mm. and submit it and say, "Yeah, this is for my child." Go ahead. Somebody was going to uh, say something. She's a she's a kindergartner, and he found her information online. That's so the who, point. Who put her that mama, up? Her mama. Her mother. mother yep. Her mother. That's mm-hmm. the point. Dang. That's why I was saying when we get on social media, we start putting all our family pictures. You crazy as hell. You don't you don't know what kind of deviant perverts are out there. Mm-hmm. Like when Captain Shamaya went out there and spoke. In uh, where was that Raleigh? Yep. yep. And and Raleigh. the people was upset because he was telling about how them daughters oh, was out yes, there dressed. Yes, he was yeah, saying that he right. was telling them. He was saying you don't know there's perverts and all kind of people out here. And these girls were much older than kindergarten. Right. Mm-hmm. Go yeah. ahead. That, that police yeah. officer. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, Kevin. No, go ahead. That police officer, he was cunning. You said he oh, yes. used that language, mm-hmm. minor attracted That's adult or absolutely. Map, minor attracted person Pulled because right, right he in. knows right. yes. that it would have set him at ease because there's forums and conversations going on with those people already right. where right. they have come uh, co- uh, aggregated to form a, what they call a community that are trying to attach themselves to the LGBT and all that. Right. They he he That was cunning. He, he, of course. Like, well, of course. He'll tell me more now. A, a lot of people probably – was upset with how the police were dealing with him, but it, but by the law they cannot arrest him unless they actually right. catch him in it. So he has to incriminate himself. That's right. why we need to continue to talk right. to him. Mm-hmm. He felt validated by that terminology. Yes, he, he right. said well, this is more easier right. for you to speak on, and that's, and it sounds like I'm appealing to your condition. Right. Hmm. Yes, sir. And that so, ain't that ain't even my child. I, I'm already drawn yes. in, like I'm yeah. about to jump through the you, screen. You, you, you yeah, heard like I'm yet. standing there ready there's, to choke the there, life out of. There's right. more. There's more. Keep on rolling. <laughs> touch her house. Uh, touch what her inappropriately. Something made me to an adult. Kindergarten. Okay. 
He said something, uh, like something that you would do to an adult. Yeah. So that means that child would have ended up on the same ring. Like, who's asking about, about the autonomy? That's where she would have gone. You think he would have brought her back? No. That girl was gone. It gets sicker. Damn. Go ahead. Is that the end of the what, time stamp? What would be the what would be the purpose in this? Okay. What's the purpose? That's what he's asking. Like what, why did you want to come here and take her home with you and touch her? What? Why, why did you want to do that? Because it is a sexual, sexual, or sick. Uh, he mouth for, sexual. Yeah, yeah. Sexual desire that I have. Damn. Desire that I have. With that gut churning confession, Reed has sealed his fate. <laughs> Although, as you'll see in just a few moments, he's going to land himself yet another charge. Uh oh. Not once. But twice. So that's what they need. That's what First, they need. however, the police have to get as much information on Reed's past as they can. And those brochures and maps that they discovered yeah, he had is. in his car, they've brought some unsettling questions to the forefront of the officers' minds. You said you looked online. Uh, what, did you look at other schools or just this school? Or? Oh. Yeah, I've looked at I've looked at other schools. Okay. I, I can't think of which ones I've looked at. But... He's been to other schools. Okay. Have you gone? Have you gone to any other schools? Yeah. What school have you gone to? What school or schools have you gone to? And he names it. I've gone to. Um... Okay. Shamanad, Julian. Okay. And came up with a clean record. Yeah. Younger. Younger women. You hear what he's saying? The reason why I did that, pause it. The reason why I did it because there are younger women, younger women. there. Mm. Mm. Wow. Who's the most vulnerable in this is in this system? Because you think you you think they really talking about white folks. Our women, our, our families are the most vulnerable because the majority of our families are broken. The men are not there, mm -hmm. so their daughters don't learn the discipline. They don't learn. They don't learn how to how to have stranger danger. They don't learn any of that stuff. Mm -mm. A lot of them. And the mothers would just put their pictures up on Facebook, have them dancing in the parade and all of that, just yep. like the captain had to get on them and right. say, I, I know how you're going to have your da your daughters out here dealing like this. You know what kind of people are around? This is an example. Because mm. where, where would the fathers be at? The father would be like, yeah, tell her, put her damn clothes on her behind. Mm -hmm. Right. Go ahead. Play on. They have what? I'm sorry. Girls there. They have a lot of girls there? They're young. Okay. They are young, have girls. Where there. else? Mm. I've been to multiple cities around the area. Damn. Like, what, what do you mean by, is it like in a general area? Is it further in the state? Do you go out of state? It, what, what do you mean by multiple cities? I've gone to like state, better, not states, but cities that are a couple of states over. Wow. Okay. Damn. I went there. So he went, he went, he, he, he went, he had, he had, he had, he had reciprocity criminality he didn't stay within the state mm. he went over the line he went over state lines and continued his sexual his sick sexual enterprise demons <laughs> mm. across state lines so 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 when he go across state Talk lines about the man act <laughs> you kidnapping a girl bringing her across, uh, across, across exactly lines. exactly he ain't bringing them back yeah no. he, he going to another city another state what you gonna do? You gonna get them and you gonna bring them? Take you gonna take them home? You ain't planning on bringing them back. No, they ain't coming back at all. He keeps lying. And a lot of and a lot of yeah, a lot of our girls are missing because of stuff like yep. this. Yeah, yeah. These same kind of deviants. Mm -hmm. So deviant. that's what they. And going. then the cop ask him a question. He'll lie. Mm -hmm. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. But I I did do it though. And yeah. he keep he keep. Yeah, he's it's just, crazy. He's, yeah. He they, said, they, did they you go to a different out. state? No, no, but I did go to a different city in a different state. Yeah. What's yeah. What? But that but that's the that's the deviance. Go ahead, play on. We got we got hey, I, hey listen to me. I'm gonna get all of it out tonight. We, I don't wanna go past eight, but I'm gonna get it all out. I'm not I'm not there ain't gonna be no part five. We're getting it all to date. Go ahead. Denver Elementary. Damn. That's the one So he that, so wait a minute, elementary school is not kindergarten. That's the teenagers getting up in the teens now. What I what is like like so, you about ten years grade, old right ten years yeah, old and all that yeah, right yeah, right. I mean, right. right. It's getting up there like ten well, eleven. Used to go right. out to the sixth grade. Right, right, 
Go on. Play on. Oh, you, I, I was going to say, I, I pray that they taking these the names of these schools down and looking up if people are missing from these mm-hmm. actual schools. Oh, like they, these... they done started a full-blown investigation after this. Right, right, sure. right, right. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Have you ever stopped in any other schools? Yes. Okay. Have you have you taken girls from any other schools? It is. Yes. Okay. Reads disheartening admission oh that he has kidnapped girl. So there's some girls that are missing right now because of what he just said. Now they can get them. Oh em. man. Now they could at least detain him. Oh, man. But they need to get more information to really they can. Nail. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah. to do that. Go ahead. Play on. From other schools adds another layer of horror to this case. Oh, yeah. This brings up another question that yields a harrowing answer. Here you go. All right. So do you take anything to jog your memory from these other schools? That's so forensic saying- psychology. That's what he's doing with them now. Do you take memorabilia from these air, from these things when you take them? Back that up just a second and let them hear that. And I'm going to just be quiet. Listen. This brings up another question that yields a harrowing answer. All right. So do you take anything to jog your memory from these other schools? Uh, keepsakes, momentums, uh, anything like that? Yeah. Okay. What, what do you take? Okay. A piggy bank. Kermit Brog. That's like a Okay, pause it right there. Look at his face. I wanted to get right, right, right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we getting ready to pick up with this here. Oh, boy. The reason why he asked him, do you have keepsakes, is because, you know, they got a lot of documentaries out here on serial yeah. killers and stuff, on um, yep. things that they do. Mm-hmm. And they take, you know, like like when you Souvenir. read about when you read about the uh, BTK killer. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, that, he's one of the deviants, ones that I'm going to talk about this evening. Mm-hmm. This uh, BTK was about buying, torture, and kill. This was during the time, this was in Wichita, Kansas, a real serial killer. We're going to read about him a little later on. And the thing what he would do, he would take items from wherever he did his crimes at to help him remember. Another serial killer named Ed Kemper, he explained that. He said that, he said, because he gets to relive the moment. Yeah, it's like trophy. It's a trophy. He relives the moment. Mm -hmm. He relives the moment. And they'll just drive by. Sometimes they say they just drive by and just look at the area and say, yeah, I remember such and such. That's some sick Let's stuff. See. Yeah, they say, I remember such. A, and that stays in their head. That mm. stays in their head. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me do it a different way where people might be able to relate to what I'm saying. But I'm going to do it on, uh, on, a side, on the side where it's not sinister like this here. Mm-hmm. When you first met your wives, right? Without getting too vulgar. <laughs> when you met your wives, and you know, before y'all, you know, some of us that was in the world, I just put it like that. And there's places where you've been, mm-hmm. you know, different spots that you spent right. time together and all of that. Whenever you'd be driving down the street and y'all pass brothers nodding already, <laughs> and y'all driving down the street and y'all pass one of those, somebody in the car gonna be like, yo, you remember when we went <laughs> right, there? Yeah, right, and right. you will remember. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the equivalent to this. That's the equivalent to this. So they take trinkets. They take stuff. So every time they look at it, they say, yeah, I remember. And they relive the sickness. Mm. Go wow. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play on, man. Now, here we go. Mr. Green, it is? Duran. What is it? Duran. Duran. Sorry. I apologize. Would you be willing to come down to the station and talk with us some more? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, why don't you come on? Now, understand the psychology of what's going on here. Would you mind if we search your vehicle? Would you mind? Because if you say no, even though it's 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 a question, but you know that your no will make him suspicious. So you're trying to be slick right? and say, you know what? I'm going to play along with it so I don't look suspicious. Hopefully right. I can figure my way out of it. Meanwhile, you're just walking down the tunnel that gets narrower and narrower. <laughs> <Right. into> your- <laughs> okay, so that's how they, but that's how they do it. And I don't want to give it up, but that's how. That, yeah. That's good because he's supposed to get caught. Yeah, yeah. wicked right. as hell. Go ahead. Finally, police are able to bring Reed to the justice center for questioning, and things are about to take an insane turn. 
Notice they don't have him in handcuffs right. when he's placed in the car. <laughs> it seems like police have enough for a detention, but not an arrest. Big difference. This enters a gray area where an arrest, if not justified, contained anything learned during the drive to the station. Therefore, by asking him to voluntarily come down to the station, it can be argued that his participation in any questioning was voluntary and not a custodial interrogation. His future statements can potentially remain admissible under these circumstances. Mm -hmm. He swings from side to go. side in his chair, presumably overcome with anxiety. Soon he makes a terrible decision he'll likely regret. I used to have to watch people like this here mm. in the psych units. Mm -hmm. And if you cannot have pens and all that stuff laying around, go ahead, play on. Yeah. So Bishop, let me say this right pause quick. It, pause it. So there was there you think was about to write something. There right? was Go no ahead. there was no <laughs> point or no place where again the police is being very strategic because there was you know the first thing you read it here you got a right to remain silent. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Anything that you say can and will be and that would have shut him up. But right. they would have said, they did, <laughs> listen, there's a there's another case. I, I'm trying to remember these people that say, how in the hell you know about all these serial killers? <laughs> there's another, I tell you, we, I, over the past month, I've been digging into the damn demons. I said, the sick extra demon. Oh, boy. I can't remember this guy's name, but he, he was in, in, in Adairsville, Georgia. Uh, Derriere. Mm. Derriere was his name. Mm. And he killed a 13-year-old a cheerleader. Wow. He, the, you know, he killed her. Mm -hmm. And the 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 police, the FBI, they wanted to have a conversation with him, and they said, could you help us catch the real killer? So he was Mirandarized and sat down and talked and ended up incriminating himself, Then they said, we got you. Boom. Because he, he, he had passed the lie detector. Mm. He had beaten the polygraph. He beat at everything, so he was confident. Mm. So they said, could, could you help us find who the real killer is? Would mm. you mind coming in? All that. It was wonderful. Wonderful oh, wow. how they did it, but I just leave that. I'll just leave that. There. Good, Go work. Yeah, good, yeah, work, good work. Yeah, good work. Good work. Good work. Nine five three. Hey, you know up here. Put your hands behind your back now. Okay. Don't worry about it. Stop. Put your hands on your back now. What a, okay. now, now, the question is, what happened? <laughs> why did he Why did he jump up? He said, I done effed up. <laughs> right. I ain't got here. I done effed Because the facts start seeping in. Back. He start remembering what he said. Dang, I done messed up. I done gave all. I'm going down. Right. I was I'm, trying to figure out I'm what trying happened. To, yeah, that's he what just he was snapped. He, was, he snapped. He was thinking about it. He said, these dudes just lined my ass up. <laughs> and he said, you know what? I got to fight my way out of this damn thing. Oh, boy. Go ahead. Watch me when he grabbed the pen. He knows it's over. All right, fine. Hey, you know here. Put your hands behind your back now. Now, pause it. Pause it. Pause it for a second. That could have been state. He he could have put that there because they really want to nail him. Because yeah, now, yeah. now he got some real he got felonious assault now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got some real up. stuff on him. I was yeah. gonna ask you about it. I was yeah. gonna ask you if you. They said let, let, let's let's put an object there. <laughs> and he ain't handcuffed. Oh, what man. else is he gonna do? He uh -huh. he know he just got he know he just got the psych deal. Uh -huh. You know. But there's there's segments of this video that brothers and sisters should check out because the parents of the real child mm. was pissed off. Oh, wow. mm. They were hot. That was hot. I I want y'all to check, like, tell the brothers and sisters, when the show is over, go back and watch this video. It's like about 40 minutes long. Mm -hmm. When a child predator gets caught in the act, just mm. watch that, and you'll see everything that what I'm talking about. Mm. All of the stuff that I didn't show, you'll see it all. And you'll be sickened. Go ahead. Play on. Stop. Put your hands on your back now. Okay. You kidding me right now? They were prepared for that. His attempt to enter the officer lands him with charges of felonious assault and escape. At Green County Jail, Reed makes some disturbing confessions. He tells officers that he intended to give the girl he wanted to kidnap a Starburst candy with a tranquilizer in it. Damn. Then remove her from school after she passed out. Pause it. You want to say something? That was the actual photo yes, of the Starburst. Of the, star, that they that's of the Starburst. Wow. 
So he had that whole hundred and fifty mm-hmm. billion dollar thing laid out. So he he. So done that means he done that before. Yeah. 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 There's others that has been tranquilized and gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, he a pro at it. He's a pro at it. Had his lives ready and everything. And then when he's sitting in there, he's like, my gig is up. God! <laughs> That's what he I let did. him keep me. Huh? It's out of let him. They met I'm done. <laughs> the hell with it. I'm going out fighting. Oh, Go boy. Ahead. Disturbingly so, when police frisked Reed before putting him in the cruiser, they discovered a bag with a starburst inside it. <laughs> According to the department, it wasn't found to have any illicit substances laced in it. Reed was put under don't, arrest immediately. Don't, don't think that that he then he had the substance somewhere else. Right. You don't want to just have it in there and you ain't sure you're gonna get the child. Right. He wanted to make sure that he got the child first. Mm-hmm. Then he put the tranquilizer in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what he been doing. You heard him say he had others already. Go ahead, right. finish it out. Right. Lee, after attempting to assault the officer on the scene, and from there his desperation only grew. At his arraignment, his fingerprints, DNA, and photo were taken but he refused to allow these to be collected. Mm. Instead of complying, he made yet another bad decision. So, right four fingers? Oh! Are we serious, dude? <laughs> He's frustrated. My His gig is up! He raises an eerie question. Did Reed fear that providing his DNA would expose previous offenses? Oh, absolutely. It seems that only time will tell. Yeah. In September 2022, he pleaded not guilty to attempted kidnapping, felonious assault, and escape. In February of 2023, he was deemed competent to stand trial. At the time yeah, of this video, like you crazy. You ain't crazy. Enough. They ain't say you ain't that you competent. Right. You ain't gonna be crazy talking about something <laughs> I'm deranged. No, no. Right. You got plenty good sense, and we gonna put your ass in jail. Right. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Own when the trial will take place. At the very least. It seems he will be incarcerated for a long, long time.